Hey guys, welcome to my closet room tour slash vanity makeup area room. So this is the third bedroom in my home, which was a spare bedroom and was used, I'm assuming, as an office with the prior owner. So I decided to turn it into a closet slash vanity makeup room. So I hope you enjoy this and let's begin. So when you walk in, um, the room has a balcony and you could see a little sneak peek there. I'm not going to show you too much because my backyard is like a demolition zone right now. Um, they're building a brand new housing development, something behind my home. So I'm not going to show you the view, but here is the balcony. And basically, this is what you see when you first walk in. And um, it is, I have these curtains, and I have this uh, mirrored kind of uh, little side table, which just holds a, a bag that I have, and this fake flower from Ikea. So once you walk in, you kind of, let me take you up. So you can see, so this is my overall kind of makeup drawer, vanity table, um, my mirror, my chair, and the little rug that I have underneath. So I'm gonna go really quickly and overall just give you quick descriptions of things. Um, if there's anything in specific, please do ask me down below and I will tell you where I've got everything. Basically, this mirror was a white trimmed mirror that I got from Home Goods, and all I did was spray paint it gold. And then I have this little vanity mirror, which when you touch it, lights up. I have a lotion, just some quick things that I like to use on a daily basis, my little Muji drawer with my brushes and things. Then I have this little board, <coughs> excuse me, which kind of holds just like cards and things that I get and pictures and things that are dear to me. I have this lamp which I DIY'd and I kind of blinged it out, sort of. It was just a white lampshade. And the lamp is from Ikea and I kind of DIY'd, DIY'd it, excuse me, and blinged it out. Then this is my tray of perfume. And then this is the Alex 9 drawer from Ikea, which is just filled with makeup and all sorts of things. Moving on to this wall, I DIY'd this tassel banner thing. Um, they were really expensive when these things first came out and I didn't want to pay the price so I just kind of made one myself. I got this mannequin from Hobby Lobby. Uh, nothing special and she just has a hat and some necklaces and a belt on it. And then this is kind of like my jewelry vanity area there's a mirror which um didn't come with it i kind of just placed it there i have this little mannequin i have these clear drawers from home goods which i put like rings and earrings in this dessert tray uh from pier one which holds bracelets uh these two bracelet stands this kind of like vase um jar thing and then i have like a necklace stand from urban outfitters which holds necklaces and then under it is just shoes, 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 and more shoes. And I switch these out. I switch out the top um, row usually. So this is now like my wedges and my flats for the summer and spring. And then for the fall, I will put my booties here and um, more like winter related shoes. But all my heels in this section stay the same. And then once you go this way, I've created this little wall with necklaces and it's kind of like these hooks which you screw into the wall. Let me see if I can kind of zoom in a little. Okay, and it just holds necklaces and such. And then when you move along 
this way I have um, a closet in a closet well this like I said this is a spare bedroom so it has a closet and I have these bird hook hangers which hold some more necklaces and then this mirror which I also spray painted um, with a gold trim to match my mirror for my vanity and um, it just has this quote that says always be curious at the bottom and in that closet I have more stuff so I'm not going to go through that now but if you ever do want to see it um, just let me know in the link below and I'll give you a tour of that inside closet then moving on I have two hats hanging here on the side and basically I'm trying I'm gonna try to move back as far as I can because this room is not that big but I have the pack system from Ikea also I have a skylight in this room um, little like spotlight thing lamp thing and I first started with this section and then I extended and I got the corner piece and this piece and basically the pack system from Ikea you can customize and you can do the shelving, the rails, um, the pull out drawers, all that stuff um, to your liking and to how you want it and how you need it. So I decided to create the whole top section with bags. So these are more bigger bags, bigger bags and then my clutches and I have like a little basket right there that holds more clutches. And then I got this little extension here, and this is actually the end of the room. Sorry that this is so shaky. This is the door to the room, and I have like this hook with scarves and belts on it. And then these are my scarves, and this is a scarf holder. And this is like a little ring holder that you can hook and hang multiple things on and I just have like my big wintry scarves on it and then there's the balcony and I have like a chair with pillows on it and then again this is an overview of the IKEA pack system and here like I said before I have this little hook and what I like to do is I like to hang newer items that I get um, that I haven't worn yet and um, hang it here so that I could see it and it's visible right away and then I kind of have like this jewelry organizer that holds a lot of like older jewelry that I don't really wear often and it kind of just hangs there now when I step back and I give you the overview I'm gonna move down and kind of show you what I have here so here I have this drawer, well not drawer, it's kind of like this little pull out system. And basically you pull this out and you can hang like pants, skirts and stuff. And I have like maxi dresses hanging here. And then you push it back in. And then under it I have two rows of shoes. And then moving this way, I have another pole hanging with skirts and stuff on it and pants. And then moving over to this side, I have two drawers, pull-out drawers. So this is a pull-out drawer. And this is a pull-out drawer. Like a basket. I have pants and shorts in there. And then two more shelves of shoes. And then I have a little stepping stool because when I need to reach something high up, I need to use that. So I'm just kind of going to give you a quick overview of this again. And then the last thing that I'm going to show you is in the middle of the room, I have an island. Here's my rug and the rug is from Pier 1. The chair is from Pier 1. I have a pillow with like a little bow. It's the chair. And then what I did is, this is a kitchen island from Ikea. And I basically painted the top silver. And I put like a mirror tray on it. And then I have a candle. 
Um, this is a Kate Spade box that has like little trinkets in it. My Apple Watch, an extra makeup case, some jewelry, some rings, and then I made a hook and I hung a hat. Then I have some scarves hanging. And then back here I have, so this is a clear box that opens as uh, so and it keeps all my sunglasses in there and um, optical glasses and it's good because it keeps them from being dusty. Then I have another bag with a scarf, more clutches, and then I have this basket which I kind of attach a little bull clip to and basically this comes out and I have more scarves in there. And that is it. So here is my island again. That's a picture of me and my cousin. Again, here is my vanity. And this table um, is from Target. And the little glass top is from Ikea. And then what I did is I also changed the knobs and I put crystal knobs in it. And I'll just give you a quick look. Just move this back a little. Oh goodness. It has makeup and stuff in it. And that is it.